Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps. So today we are going to review the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. It's funny, this is actually my second time filming this, and the first time I actually got a shade that was much darker for me. But um, yeah, round two hopefully is going to be uh, the perfect one. So if you're brand spanking new to my channel, this is like the first video that you're watching, or maybe you realize you're not even subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week and you're bound to find something you love on my channel. If you love beauty videos, I do hauls, tutorials, um, reviews, all that good stuff. So I do have a couple of new products that I want to try since I'm here. We might as well just do this, you know what I mean? Um, I will say that this shade that I got here is... where is it? Let's see on the box. On the box it says it's 530 Suede C. So I do notice that they had quite the selection um, from like the palest of the pale to the darkest of the dark with different undertones. So I love that Lancome put in the work to do the proper research. Even the shade that I got that was too dark for me, it was still the right undertone. And if I had spent a lot more time like out in the sun this summer, it definitely would have been right for me. I just needed something that was a little bit lighter but still like the same undertone. So obviously it claims that you can wear this for 24 hours. I'm not going to test that part because I just, I can't do that to my skin. <laughs> I work too hard to keep it nice. So the last thing I want to do is uh, wear makeup for 24 hours. I am going to give you guys a wear test so you can see how it performs later on in the day. It does claim to give a velvety matte finish and I'm looking at the box here it says it's full coverage and it covers up redness pores and any flaws so that's pretty cool I mean that sounds like music to my ears and it claims that it is never cakey that I love and I'm here for so we'll see how that works out so also I'm gonna prime my face you know because I want you guys to see how I prime my face if you're new to my channel I do have oily combination skin typically my t-zone is oily and the rest of my face is normal to dry but I feel like now we're kind of in this almost transition to autumn so my skin is changing but now I'm kind of feeling like around my mouth is getting dry so I'm gonna use a primer combination so first I'm gonna go in with the NYX Honey Do Me Up uh, primer. It is a really amazing, you know, radiance primer. And just if you have like normal to dry skin, I think that you'll probably really, really love it. Now, for the rest of my face, I've got the Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer. It's got SPF 30, which I am feeling it does have some chemical sunscreen. So, you know, I'm going to be a little bit more open minded and try it. In the past, I have been allergic to that, so I'm going to have to give you guys an update probably in the description to see if, you know, it had any kind of bad reaction with my skin. So when you take it out, it definitely comes out. It's clear. It's supposed to be a smoothing primer and help keep your skin matte. I'm always down with that. I mean, like, what's not to love? I'm really curious if this gives, like, a tint. No. No tint at all. That's kind of nice. It seems to have that very like silicone-y feel. Spreads very, very easily. And I can definitely tell on my cheeks that it is smoothing for real. That's why I tend to have a lot of texture anyway on my cheeks and around my nose. So overall that primer actually went on really, really smoothly. I'm going to let this primer uh, settle in for about 10 minutes before I apply the makeup. It's a little bit of a trick that I've learned before. If you give it some time to settle in, you know, then it's going to make your makeup go on more flawless. Of course, we don't always have time to do that, but I want to really lay the groundwork down for this foundation. And by the way, if any of you guys have tried this foundation before, please let me know and what are your thoughts 
and what shade have you used because that could be possibly helpful for somebody else that's watching this and I also want to know what you guys' opinions are. So now we're ready to go ahead and apply this actual foundation. So I kind of want to explain something that I experienced the first time I tried this on. I noticed that when I tried to use a beauty blender or a makeup sponge like this one right here, the Eco Tools makeup sponge, I noticed that this foundation actually dries down very quickly. And you know, if you're not careful, what I had to do, I had to like work in sections. And when I used the sponge, it went on kind of like patchy. So then I had to switch to a foundation brush. This one here is the Luxie 532, the round top blender, just any kind of buffing foundation brush. And it went on a lot smoother. I did have to use like definitely five to six pumps for my full face and a little bit on my neck. Um, so it was a little bit more than I'm used to using, but I'm interested now that I have the correct color and I know how to work with it, how many pumps I'll have to use to achieve that same coverage. So I told you guys this color is 530 Suede C. I'm just going to, oh, well, I'll talk to you guys about the little pump. It has just a normal pump, you know, super sanitary, this kind of stuff I love. Like to shake it up a little bit. Okay, so that's one pump. This is what it looks like right here. And I'm going to dot it on my face and then use my buffing brush to go ahead and blend that in. And I'm gonna be working in smaller sections again, like I told you guys, because it does dry down very quickly. And it is definitely full coverage. I mean, you can decide on what you want the actual foundation to look like. So, you know, don't be alarmed, it's buildable, it's not straight up full coverage like right off the bat. So I know it looks very orangey on camera, but I promise you guys it's not, it's more of a match to my chest. This is just the first layer. I did have to use about four to five pumps just to get my face and my neck. Now I do notice that I did do a light coverage, guys, so I've got a few uh, areas with some discoloration from past breakouts um, that I'm just going to take and I'm going to tap it over here with my fingers and that pretty much covered it well. I think you have to use quite a bit to actually get that like full full like cake coverage because I think this is designed to look more like your skin not like you're actually wearing a mask of makeup, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Eco Tool sponge and just kind of like push everything in. So overall, I actually really like the finish of it. I think it's just so beautiful, looks so natural. One thing that I'm gonna point out because I always like to play devil's advocate and like, you know, the other side of things and give you guys like equal points of things to be wary about and things to love. Um, is that it definitely goes on like a bit patchy like I experienced the first time if you're dotting the foundation on and blending it I'm um, looking at my skin and there's certain parts I did a pretty good job of fixing it but there's certain parts I can tell were really like mm, I can see like more of my natural skin underneath instead of a smooth blend throughout so that's something that I would be a little bit wary about give yourself some time to work with that and really like have good lighting, look in the mirror, make sure that you're actually blending everything out so that it looks as flawless as possible. So far, I'm loving it. Let's move on to concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna use the NARS uh, Soft Matte. <laughs> um, and this is in the shade Amand or Amande. I think it means almond in French. So I'm just dipping my beauty blender in there, like really getting in. And I've got like a nice little cakey layer. And I am just putting it underneath. So I'm placing it now and then I'll go back and I'll blend it. I actually really love this concealer, you guys. It's so creamy and it just really looks so natural. So with this foundation, the NARS concealer is definitely more of a brighter highlight, which I mean, I'm not mad at. I still think it looks beautiful. But when I go ahead and set that with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep, it's gonna tone it down a little bit. So I'm using, you know, good old, old fave, uh, the Medium Deep of the Laura Mercier. And I just kinda like tip this over here, tip it back, 
And then with the sifter inside, that brings enough, like just a slight amount, where I can just like pour it in the little cap and then I can use it to set my under eyes. And I always use the same brush to set my under eyes, the Kat Von D uh, setting brush. And I just dip it lightly, tap the excess, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that in. And I push it in and then I'm gonna sweep away the excess. And that just looks so flawless. So before I go ahead and set the rest of my face, I kind of feel like switching it up a little bit. I'm only going to do cream contour today, and I'm using the uh, contour side of the Smashbox Stick Foundation, which I absolutely love. Such a good foundation. And the contour shade just goes perfectly with my skin tone. I'm going to be just using this right around here, cheekbones and around my temples as well. And I'm just using my makeup sponge to smooth that out. I guess I just want it to be like a bit more natural and not overly contoured today. So I'm so excited. I was reading the comments from the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection review that I did and I'm so glad that you guys liked the swatches that I included that uh, you know, my husband was really nice enough to do. Hopefully, if I can, or when I can, I'll try and do both swatches, just because I feel like, you know, it's really useful. So, for those of you guys that got that collection, I mean, what do you think about it? I'm wearing it on my eyes today, by the way. I'm wearing Noli on my lids and Suze in the inner corner. Uh, I love it, honestly. I just think they really took their time and they hit it out of the park. I feel like when influencers take their time with collections, it actually turns out like really, really well. But I think when things are kind of rushed sometimes, you're like, oh, mm, that was a disaster, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a uh, highlight and then I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions after I finish my face. Um, of the actual foundation and you know of course I gotta do a wear test for you guys. For highlight today I'm gonna go in with Mirame. Now on my skin texture it's definitely more of a subtle highlight as opposed to the Fuego one which is like bling but um, this one is really nice has more golden uh, undertones and it definitely as you can see it's still awesome, still blingy, but uh, Fuego is definitely like a lot more blingy, I think. So I finished up my lips and I just kind of wanted to show you guys this highlight, Mirame, still fire. I have on my lips uh, actual Sauvage and it's super dark, super sultry, and I love that it's a nice matte lipstick. It went on very opaque on my lips, so I didn't feel like I had to use a lip liner underneath. Uh, to set my face, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Chill Cooling and Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray. I'm very excited about this one. They sent this to me um, in PR, and it's their collab with Scandinavia. Now, this is supposed to keep your makeup looking like it's fresh for 12 hours, so now I'm really expecting good things with this 24 hour foundation and this <laughs> setting spray. So taking it out, this is what it looks like. Let's give it a spritz. I will say that it is very refreshing. Um, the actual spritzer like dispersed a wide amount. It was more like a mist instead of like a camel spit, you know, like some of them do. <laughs> Um, but I really like it. I'm gonna wait to have it dry down and then I'll let you guys know my first impressions on the foundation. So now that the actual setting uh, spray has like dried on the face, it's so interesting. It definitely has a like chilling, cooling effect. Um, I do have to say, I think that the makeup looks absolutely flawless. Like I look like I have I mean, my skin is pretty nice, but sometimes when you add makeup, it gives more texture to it than it has, you know? But I feel like everything looks just like flawless and tight and snatched and like put together. The highlight is still booming. Like, it definitely, there's a noticeable difference. And I think that the foundation, like I was telling you guys before, goes on very smooth, gives a nice smooth canvas, is very full coverage. 
However, it still looks like your skin. Like you don't look crazy. You don't look like you're wearing a mask of makeup. And I'm very, very impressed. Um, I mean, yeah, if this performs well, I could see this being my definitely go-to foundation. I will say I'm a little concerned about the patchiness. Um, you know, I think once you complete your makeup routine, you know, that would cover anything up. But I'd still say to please be careful when you're applying it. Have good lighting, you know, preferably daylight lighting. Sit in front of a mirror and really look at your face and say, okay, does everything look like it's like evenly covered, you know? Um, because that's, that was my thing. If any of you guys that use this foundation on a regular basis have any solutions to that, please put that down below in the comments and help me and anyone else out. But given that, that's the only negative thing I can see. I still think that this just looks absolutely beautiful. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go out and probably wear this foundation for a good six hours because it is like the later afternoon um, and I don't want to stay up too late tonight. So yeah, six hours and then I'll show you guys. I'll probably bring my vlog camera or something and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, so it is about 10, 10 and I've been wearing this makeup for almost six and a half hours. So um, as you guys can see, like check it out in detail. It's still pretty nice. Um, definitely like if you have fine lines, I think that's going to show up with this foundation because my smile lines are starting to show up just a bit. But I mean, for six and a half hours, I think that's pretty damn good. It is definitely matte. I was down by the beach like today. So I mean, I'm slightly dewy, but like not oily. It is transfer proof because see, nothing ended up on my fingers. So I think it's a great foundation. Like you could definitely give somebody a hug with this and not be afraid that, you know, your makeup is gonna like totally smear on their face or <laughs> anything like that. Um, it's beautiful. I will say that it definitely looks like skin. And I got some compliments today while I was out and about on my makeup. So um, I'm gonna give it like two thumbs up as far as my experience wearing it, I think it's great. I can't wait to play around with it and see what is the best combination with this foundation and any primer that I own. Um, but I love it. I can't wait. And I definitely can see if somebody wants to test out the 24 hour claim, it probably would last because six and a half hours and it's still looking this good. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. And like I said before, if you've used this before, Please tell the rest of us what your experiences are, what shade you are, and um, yeah, if you have any other recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!